بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my name is akbar and i'm a pakistani australian and i'm going to a city in outback australia which is called mary and it's located in the northern part of south australia you may call it a city it's just a population of 60 individuals and that is located around 680 kilometers from adelaide Uh, the question is why I'm going there. Um, the reason is, it's a very important journey. I'm going to search the footprints of the people who explored Australia in 19th century. They were called Afghan Kamadiers. Uh, they were not exactly Afghans. Uh, they were from the current Pakistani part of the world. Um, which is Balochistan, Sin. A few of them were from Afghanistan and other places of the world, but the majority of them was from uh, Balochistan and Sin, uh, which is in present-day Pakistan. And this is what is drawing me to them because I've been in Australia for like five years and I've known Australia since a long time. But this was something new for me. Um, first of all, knowing about the Afghan Cameliers and then coming to know that they were mainly from the place where I'm from, I got so much excited. Uh, so, who were they basically? Uh, they were, uh, they came to Australia in around 1850 um, by the British government who was colonizing um, this continent, this Australian continent. It wasn't called Australia at that time. It was called a lot of other colonial names like uh, New Holland, New South Wales and other names. And the European settlers were mainly, uh, they were settled in the coastal areas like Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide, Tasmania. And the interior of the Australian continent was still pretty much unknown and uncharted because of the harsh climate, um, because of the desert. And it was uncharted, so it was very difficult to explore and, and, and settle. A uh, few of the early expeditions ended up in disasters when they tried to uh, use horses and and oxes to carry the logistics and sub and supplies uh, to explore because uh, horses and other animals need f water frequently. So the idea of bringing the uh, people who could um, make use of camels was a very very ingenious idea, I would say, and the f the best. Uh, Cameliers were from this part of the world where I'm from, um, which is currently Pakistan. It wasn't Pakistan back then. It was part of the British India. Um, so, um, so uh, the first cam Cameliers were brought in around 1850. Um, they, with their immense knowledge of the desert and uh, and the dynamics of traveling in the desert and uh, the knowledge of uh, working with the camels uh, was very very helpful um, in achieving this in achieving this uh, exploration uh, these cameliers who were mainly muslims uh, which are also known as muslim cameliers uh, they explored the uncharted territories and deserts of australia uh, mapped it and made recommendations about uh, establishing the roads um, and pretty much Australia that we know was uh, explored on foot and on camels by the by the Muslim cameliers. So, uh, of course, even for them, Australia was a very very harsh climate and harsh geography because of its ex sheer vastness and uh, and extreme weather. Uh, many of these cameliers died and were buried in the desert. Some of the bodies were recovered and buried in other established areas. Um, those who survived either settled in Australia or either went back to their families in Balochistan, Sin and Afghanistan. Uh, but the, we don't know much about them, very, very little knowledge. Um, like, there isn't much that has been told to us. It's kind of an untold story. There are resources on the internet um, about these people. Uh, quite varied and um, an incomplete sort of information. Like, 
the, the very notion of them being Afghan camellias when majority of them was from Balochistan and, and Sindh and especially Karachi where I'm from where I was born um, sheds light on the amount of knowledge that we have about these camellias uh, the only thing I know about them is they were very brave very knowledgeable people um, very dedicated and it's because of their efforts and their exploration of Australia that we are here and um, so why I'm going to Murray is uh, I'm going to pay a tribute to them I visit their graves um, I will uh, offer Fatiha and um, and pray for them pray for their souls um, one more important thing about Murray is the first mosque in Australia was established in 1850 by Muslim Camilliers. So when they settled, they made Murray as their uh, main headquarter or capital of further exploration in, in this region of Australia. And uh, the first thing they did was they established a masjid, a mosque um, to offer prayers. And that was the first mosque in this continent of Australia. Uh, so as long as they lived in that uh, in that town, they offered their prayers in that. Uh, the last of the Camilliers left Murray um, in around 1800 and, uh, in 1930s or 40s, uh, around that time. And since then, um, no Camilliers have been living in, in Murray. Only some of their descendants are living, but they are not practicing Muslims. They do uh, identify themselves as Muslims by heritage, but they don't practice Islam anymore. Um, and which makes sense like uh, to practice a certain religion you need to have a bigger community and the type of population in Australia it's not possible for um, for people to, to practice any certain religion if there is not much community like there are just a handful of people so um, they have an important role in, uh, in, in keeping the tradition and keeping alive the name of the Muslim Camilliers uh, this mosque was pretty much destroyed over uh, so this mosque was um, destroyed um, to elements after the last Camilliers left but the good people of or the good residents of Mari they rebuilt the mosque they renovated it and it st still stands today uh, there is no record of any prayer or any azan in this mosque um, since the last Camellia left in 18, in 1940s or 50s, I would say, 50, 40s, that's my, my, my last uh, record that I found on the internet. So, I'll go and visit the mosque and if it is still open or if it's something that I can go in and if it is still allowed to use this mo mosque, I will offer prayers today um, and then I will go to the graves of the, of the deceased Camellia's and offer Fatiha on their graves. It's out of excitement that I'm going there and I want to see what the first masjid actually looks like. On the internet, internet I have seen the pictures uh, and actually the local residents have built it in exactly the same shape um, and condition that it was in that location more than a century ago. Um, which is a good thing uh, that mo the, the mosque is established still standing there in its original form just that it's not being used anymore I'm not staying over in Murray tonight uh, I'll be heading back to Adelaide um, so it pretty much makes it around 1400 kilometers um, a long day trip so I'm in front of the first mosque in Australia. This is the Mari Morisco Masjid. Uh, it was constructed in 1850. I just asked uh, an elder in the in the town and he said, he told me that once every few years um, people do turn up here and sometimes they also pray in this mosque. So it's a very good thing that this mosque is still alive though once every few years um, so I'm going to offer a Juma prayer here the time is around uh, quarter to three so I think it's still time for the Juma and Zuhur um, so I'll go in
الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا ہم اس وقت میری کے مسلم قبر سامنے موجود ہیں یہاں پر کچھ خبریں آپ کو میرے پیچھے نظر آ رہی ہوں گی یہ ان مسلمان ایکسپلورس اور کیمیلیئرس کی خبریں ہیں جنہوں نے آسٹریلیا کو اٹھارہ سو پچاس اور انیس سو تیس کے عرصے کے درمیان ان صحراؤں کو ایکسپلور کیا تھا چل کے دیکھتے ہیں Allah 